Good morning, everyone. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, LinkedIn. As promised, another trip down the strip. As you can see right up front of you, uh, they actually have police blocking off the entrance to the Encore. front of the wind right now thought I'd have a little more time this morning but I just got a notification that UPS dropped off a few packages I had to change a delivery location so I have to go get those pretty soon but I'm gonna come back after noon to see what it actually looks like after the true shutdown goes into effect but pedestrian traffic is non-existent Still street traffic. Heard more rumors about the National Guard and all this other stuff this morning, but just because it's on the internet doesn't make it true. What I'm thinking is going to happen is if people don't respect the um, Sisalax you must close concept and you must do this, it's not mandated, it's not a law. I think that. Uh, they will bring in the National Guard to make people do what's expected of them. So I think uh, whether we go on true lockdown depends on everyone's reaction. Whether they're going to hang out on the strip and take advantage of the darkness or stay home. Speaking of staying home... It's an, again, like I said yesterday, this is an opportunity. Think of all the things that you've been putting off. Think of all the things that when you're busy putting in your 60 hour weeks, you just don't have time to do. Now's the time to do it. All right, give yourself a day, slack off, Netflix and chill, hang out in your pajamas, do whatever you gotta do to, you know, acclimate to being home. But after that, take advantage of this and do the things you always wanted to do. Did you ever want to start a business? It takes some planning and preparation. Now's the time. Did you ever want to study? Did you ever want to go to school? Did you ever want to change careers? Don't have time, busy with the kids, busy at work, online education is too tough. Now's the time. Now's the time to take advantage of it. Been putting off cleaning the garage? Do it. You know about those dust bunnies under the refrigerator? Move the refrigerator today. Get in motion. Be productive. People need to be productive. We need to feel we're accomplishing things. Sitting around and commiserating and, you know, feeding off of fear and other Facebook nonsense is not going to do you any good. Being productive is going to do wonders for you. I'm kind of bummed I can't go to the gym. That is not... I'm not pleased about that whatsoever, but then again, I'm going to do push-ups, I'm going to do sit-ups, I'm going to keep myself fit, and I'm going to keep myself active, I'm not going to allow my life to come to a grinding halt, because I've been put on curfew, or uh, been grounded <laughs> like a 12-year-old, oh, there is a police presence, yeah, precautionary, there's still a few people out here. I would like to come back later and actually take a walk around. I mean, it'd be a great time for me to get some pictures, if nothing else. I mean, that is what I do. I'm a photographer and a videographer, but I don't know where I can park. I'm curious how they're clearing out the hotels. That's my curiosity. Are they helping them with travel plans? Are they just saying, get the F out? I don't know. I hope the businesses, I hope these places are also taking the time to do their housekeeping and to do things that they haven't done or have been putting off too. Now's a golden opportunity. 
I sat in on a meeting, kind of, last week, and I was told by, I'm not going to say which property, that they're going to spend time, extra time, and extra manpower, they're going to dedicate to cleaning handrails and doorknobs and solid surfaces. You know, my first thought was, shouldn't you have been doing that from day one? Why do we need to wait for this to happen to think about wiping down handrails? I mean, I wipe down my shopping cart, always have been, and they're not wiping down handrails. But if anything else, I hope this serves as a wake-up call. Getting back to something I said last night about not having income sucking. I don't have income right now no substantial income right now anyway, but I made mention yesterday and someone corrected me, shout out to Ken, and it's true because I did make some calls this morning uh, concerning billing. Number one, if you're concerned about your financial situation, uh, sit down for a minute and think about all your auto pays. They're going to hit your account because the computer doesn't care what's going on. So if you're on auto pay with something uh, and you're thinking maybe you can't afford it, you might want to stop the auto pays on non-essentials because it's going to hit your account. You can't call them back for a refund. So if you have Amazon Prime and you just never, ever, ever use it, you just let it continue for 12 bucks a month you know now's the time to shut it off if you have other things on auto pay that you want full control over now if you're set up with um, say nevada energy on auto pays might be a good time to temporarily halt that so you have control over the funds going in and out because if you're on auto pay you're on auto pay. They're not going to say, gee, this person's on auto pay, but I think they got laid off. It's not going to work like that. So if you're on auto pay, that would be my first recommendation. Sit down, figure out your auto pays, which ones you want to gain control of so they just don't automatically zap your account. And getting back to what uh, Ken and I were discussing, as far as calling, I tried to, two days ago, I made a few phone calls to some of the... Um, people that I do auto pays with and some of the billings that I have to deal with on a monthly basis, both business and personal. And I was able to talk to very nice, very helpful representatives. But today I called, forget that. They direct you to their websites. You have to go online and do everything through their online forms if you want communication. So I would definitely recommend that. So if you need to call Sprint, if you need to call your car payment, uh, if you need to call who's ever allowing grace at this point, take the time while you have the time and definitely get that accomplished. It's not gonna happen automatically. You know, nobody gives out freebies. So I tried a couple this morning just to communicate uh, so far I have a small unit at public storage. They told me that they're going to maintain hours, no office contact. They're going to try to keep the place open as long as possible. I mean, that makes sense, but they're offering no grace. I didn't need grace, but they sent out a mass letter to everyone just about their procedures that they're going to have, but not offering anything. However, Sprint who I've been with for years said that they're suspending all disconnects, so that's not going to happen. They're waiving charges, uh, but they want communication to know if you're having an issue. Otherwise, it's business as usual, hence my recommendation. Uh, Ford Motor Company, which uh, my last payment is in three days, so I don't have to worry about that. Hello, car. I love you. Um, but you'll be all mine. They sent me a letter saying they're willing to help anyone who contacts them if you're having an issue, if you were directly affected. The word directly affected, you know, that might be a loophole. You might have to prove that you were laid off from a property, but at this point, everyone's affected, especially in our town. So they need to get a grip on that. Casinos closed, 
you know, the, the trickle down is just astronomical. So basically 50% of this town is currently unemployed, if not more. So directly, I think that verbiage was put in there, you know, a while ago. But communicate, see what happens. Anyway, I'm about to hang a right somewhere around here. I got to go pick up my UPS. Kind of business as usual here. As far as traffic goes, I think this is just an alternate route to get places now. That was never available. I think that's why the uh, the automobile traffic is here, including myself. There's a few people doing what I'm doing. I see them hanging out their windows with their cell phones. I must find my camera windshield mount for the life of me. I cannot find that thing. I'm going to tear things up. Or... Um, order one on Amazon. That's another thing. I saw someone post today that Amazon is halting all shipments. That is not true. So don't believe everything you read. And if you don't take the time to do the research to verify if it's true, don't repost it because you're just spreading inaccurate information. Truth is, Amazon is hiring 1,400 people to keep up with demand just here in Las Vegas. So if you're unemployed, you might want to go check that out. But they are hiring. Probably social distancing as you pack, but whatever. So don't spread misinformation. That's not doing anyone in any service. It's not gaining you any points anywhere. If someone posts something, it bothers you, it frightens you, it excites you, whatever, verify it for yourself. Do a Google search to see if it's actually accurate or not before you pass it on to all your friends. But Amazon, as of right now, is not closing. They are not halting deliveries. Neither is UPS. However, I still set up an alternate delivery location to go get mine this morning. You know, it's better safe than sorry. Anyhow, oh, let's take a look at that. There is the new Raiders Stadium. Uh, let's get a better shot once we pass here. There we go. And that is going to be cranking in a few months. This isn't the end of our town. Remember our slogan? Let's put it to good use. Vegas strong. Remember what we did after October 1st? We helped each other. We cared about each other. We supported one another. Okay, it might be a little difficult if we're housebound, but being housebound is not the law. This isn't, you know, communist Russia quite yet. We're still allowed to go out. We're still allowed to visit. We're still allowed to communicate. We're still allowed to FaceTime. We're still allowed to do all that stuff. So do it. Don't isolate yourself. Isolation sucks. I don't plan on doing it. Until I have no other choice. Anyway, I'm about to pick up my packages for the day. I'm going to cruise on over to the strip maybe after 12. I don't really expect to see anything different. I mean, it's been the same for quite some time. But I'm going to try to find a place to park and get out and take some up close and personal video. And I'm going to try to see if I can talk to some of these tourists, whether they're stranded, whether they would just kick to the curb how gracious the properties were, or find, finding them accommodations and getting them out of town. That's what I'm curious about. Anyway, enough talking from me. Hope everyone's having a great day. Don't panic. Don't fear. Take this opportunity to do what you want to do, how you want to do it. Live life. Enjoy life. Roy Frederick out. Make sure it sound right, boys. Thank you.